Hello, beloved, and welcome back to my channel. It is your mystic journey, divine, coming to you with another channel message, another reading. I pulled some cards from your ancestors, from your spirit guides, from the Most High that has a message for you. So tap right in if you're here for the first time and journey divine. Please feel free after this message to hit that subscribe button and join the family. We'd love to have you. This is a place of love, light, and positivity. You can share here. You can be yourself here. You can be sure that you will not be judged. I don't edit. This is raw and uncut. <laughs> whatever you see is whatever you get. If you're A1, day one, thank you for always coming back to support me. Your energy is appreciated. Your love is so, so, so needed at this time. Those of you who are collective chosen, my star seeds, my earth angels, my guided few, you know who you are, you know what to do. Comment, I am, I believe, I am chosen, 144. If you're chosen and you know that you were chosen and you believe you were chosen, put a red heart in the comment section to let me know that you know who you are. If you're a cult leader, student, receiver, of necromancy, put a black heart in the comments so I know where my tribe is. If you're a light worker, make sure you put that white heart in there. And if you are seeking self-love, self-care, and you're just on a new journey for exploring a new world, give me a pink heart and you fellas, give me a green heart. There it is. We're going to tap right in. My neighbors are playing music very loud. I'm hoping that it cannot be heard in the videos. So you know the um you know what it is. I'm just getting back in here, y'all. Mm-hmm. Anyway, <sighs> this was a card that popped out. I'm speaking to a star seed. As I said, you know who you are. You know what you are here for. You know what you are here to do. There's an angelic presence all around you, protecting you at this time because you have a high purpose, a high destiny. And they need you to complete it so they can rise, they can elevate, they can be freed. Yes, Amun Ra, the sun guide. You could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, male or female. The sun may be calling you and may energize you. It may need to heal you, heal those wounds, heal that bodily pain or mis or discomfort you've been going through. If you've been battling from some health issues, get out into the sun. You need some vitamin D. You need to connect with nature, with the earth, the sun, and I'm on Ra is trying to send you a healing. If you have Native American lineage, ancestry to Native American, if you know, you know. I'm hearing Blackfoot, Swede. Um, there are others. If you are of Native American lineage and you are not Blackfoot or Swede, please put in the comments and let me know what your connection is. I would love to look into that. Your work speaks for you. You are meant to be a healer, whether you have a platform, a channel, a podcast, some kind of social media account where you speak life, you speak hope, you speak courage and fearlessness into others. Your work speaks for you and will speak for you in your time of harvest, abundance, and agility. I'm hearing it gives you energy. You being able to exude your purpose, your gifts, is what energizes you, is what revitalizes you, restores you to wholeness. Rose, your name could be Rose. You could have a grandma named Rose who has passed on. You could love roses, the color red, the blood. You could love Mother's Day just passed. This could be a message from Pastor Mom. You could have given roses to the ancestors, to the ocean. Roses would be something that would bring life and love and positivity to your home. Someone is telling you, beloved, it is time to play the lotto. You're in the manifestation season. And it, the energies are with you very high at this time. Play the lottery. Get a crash off ticket. And if you win, don't forget your girl. You know, I'm I'm kidding, but then I'm not. Keep it cute. Keep it beautiful. You're beautiful from the inside out. 
and needs to show how you show up in the world. Put on your best dress. A woman is not dressed until she wears a smile. Wear a smile. Show the world that you are light and you are love and that you ooze positivity. Yes, life is meant to be shared with a good love. Good love, good love. I want to know what real I need a baker. I want to know what real love feels like. You could be missing a companionship, missing that unionship, missing that touch of another, missing that comfort, those strong arms. There's love being ushered into your life if you're willing to accept it, to honor it, to trust it, to want it. Let down those walls. Don't be so guarded. Love is looking for you at this time because you will not know, beloved, unless you try. You will not know what's available to you unless you get out there, unless you put yourself out there, unless you try and let the world know, let the energy know that you are in a receiving place. Yes? You have water ancestors, mermaids, sirens. You could be a water sign. I'm getting heavy Pisces. You get an ancestor, a grandmother, a grandfather that was a Pisces, was a Cancer, was a Scorpio, that they are watching over you in the waters. They're asking you to drink more water, to add some lemon to your water when you drink, to invite spirit, purity, and cleanliness into your body to detox. And that hidden knowledge is being given to you at this time. You're receiving downloads when you dream. You're receiving downloads in the waking moments when you're being caught, getting off, or what do they call it, daydreaming, wandering off. Those moments, you're seeing angel numbers. You're getting signs and synchronicities about what is to come. But they're also giving you hidden knowledge of the ancestors, past life energies, Ancient knowledge that they're telling you should not be shared. If you have a platform, if you have an account, if you're writing a book, somehow if you're speaking to others, there are certain messages that they're giving you that they don't want you to tell others. There are messages just for you. They will let you know when these messages need to be shared, but at this time, holding on to ancient knowledge and secrets within, gifts that you have manifested, things that you're finding out you can do. Things that were done by your ancestors, rituals, herbal medications, toxins, hidden knowledges. Keep them to yourself. You're being guided to watch your back. There are people who are trying to steal your work, steal your energy, placate as if they're being you copycats. Keep it to yourself so that they cannot use this information against you. to try to say that you are wrong, you're a liar, you're an imposter, you're fake. Whatever the reason is, be mindful of what you share and why you feel the need to share it and who you're sharing with. Now, they're turning their music up, and I know it's going to be heard in these videos, so I'm about to clock off for this video. Take this information, like, share, comment, hit that subscribe and notification bell, come back again to receive more information. If so, when they... Bring it down, tone it down. I will come back on and bring you more messages from your guys. But until then, I wish you all love, peace, and happiness. A continued soul awakening. As within, so without. As above, so below, beloved. Enjoy the rest of your day. Until we meet again, my friend, I wish you ashe.